so we're going to start with the past, where it all began. What is your first footballing memory? Uh, playing with boys' teams only. <laughs> <laughs> Same. Because there were no girls' teams growing up. I just remember wanting to, like, I just play with the boys. as one of the boys, like, playing. It's very different now. Very different now. Thankfully, very there's, different. there's yeah. lots of... Lots of girls teams, um, grassroots girls teams, but I completely relate. I was always with boys when I was younger. What was the first match you went to? I can only remember thinking just quickly now when you asked that is the under 17 Women's World Cup in New Zealand. I can't remember any other games before that that really stuck out, but I remember because I um, tried to make that squad. I was 16, I think. I didn't make the New Zealand team for that squad and it was like a, a World Cup in New Zealand, like the one coming soon. And I remember feeling like so gutted and watching those games. Like, oh, mm-hmm. wow, yeah. But that to the point for me was like, I'm going to make the next team, like the under 20s. And that's when I made, that's when I was able to start my journey playing for New Zealand. But that was one where I was like so disappointed, but then it just drove me forward. So. Amazing. Um, Who was your first footballing hero? Oh, Maya Jackman, because she was um, one of the older football fans when I made the team young. She was playing. She was just one of the veterans. But she was on all of the posters, like New Zealand football posters everywhere. And so I think that was every, like, I think a lot of my teammates who are my age in the in the ferns now would say the same as Maya Jackman. I, I understood from from Annie that the haka is very very popular in New Zealand, of course, and it's very traditional. So I don't know if the haka is your pre match ritual or you do something else. <laughs> no, the haka is more uh, typically it's it's male sports teams like the All Blacks. It's very traditionally associated with the All Blacks, but we had one, bef- um, you know, when we were playing in, in Germany in the World Cup. In 2011, we had one sort of uh, unique to our team, and it was women's one, and it was a different kind of one, but it was still the same kind of concept, um, which I always love so much, but we don't really do it anymore. Okay. Um, but no, I don't do any of that before anymore. <laughs> um, so you play some guitar, or, or what What do you do? I do play guitar, actually, like, because any time I'm on tour, yeah, I, that kind of has helped, I've found, like, over the years, I... I go into the bathrooms in hotels and play guitar because oh. the acoustics sound the best. The, that's true. Or the stairs. <laughs> Normally, like, the stairs well, the next stairs, to the elevator. Yeah. They also sound incredible. Yeah. There was uh, one tour we were on. Um, my teammate Erin Naylor can sing, so we did a lot of that, like, just messing around, just, you know, just to, you know. It's just it's so enjoyable, and it helps you, like, calm down. I don't know. We just did that. Uh, we found um, – we went down to the pool – in uh we're in america we're playing the u.s and there was a mm-hmm. basement pool and it sounded so good in there so i was like i'm bringing the guitar down let's have a little like sing down here <laughs> it was so wow cool. I, that's yeah. super cool you should have brought the microphone and recorded something directly on there <laughs> i have a recording i think somewhere on a phone somewhere but oh, it was so long oh, ago though i love that yeah that's amazing <laughs> 